Hello all, in this video we will have a look at the code. For the project uh, we had uh, earlier uploaded a demonstration video of. Uh, we have assumed that you have some knowledge of Arduino programming and we will just have an uh, overview of the code. We will not explain in detail how each and every function works. We will just have a look uh, at the code that we have used to program our system. Here we have included these three libraries which will be required uh, to ease the task of working with a lot of tools. Uh, a lot of systems like uh, liquid crystal with I2C interface we have used, not uh, a simple liquid crystal, 16 crystal. The wire uh, is used for that only. Uh, for interfacing keypad matrix, this keypad library is used. So, to configure the keypad, we require uh, to declare a matrix of keys that uh, we want each location to have, the number of rows and columns that keypad matrix has and the array. So uh, with constant byte we have declared the rows, the number of rows to be 4, number of columns to be 4. Uh, this is a matrix which consists of all uh, the values that will correspond to each element in a 4 cross 4 keypad matrix. Uh, with byte data type this is an array of the row pins that uh, we have used. Uh, to connect to our Arduino, that is for row, uh, the pin numbers are 3, 4, 5, 6, for columns, the pin numbers are 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now uh, we have created an object called custom key keypad using uh, this keypad function. Uh, the parameters of whose are, uh, whose are make key map. Uh, here we will give the matrix we have made, this matrix. Then the row pins, the, ma uh, the array of row pins, that is. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, the array of column pins, the number of rows, the number of columns. So these are, uh, these are the parameters that we are required to give to this keypad function to create an object of keypad. Uh, this is the end of keypad configuration. Now we will move to some variable declaration. We have declared a character key type which we will use to get the input of the key pressed and we will store it in this variable only. Then uh, to get the higher and lower temperatures threshold. Uh, you will understand the code better if you will have a look at the video. So it is recommended that uh, you go and watch that video. Then uh, come here and look at this code. So this uh, string type higher temperature will record the higher temperature threshold that the user will enter. Similarly, uh, the lower temperature threshold entered by the user will be stored in this low temp uh, string. Then we have declared some float type to store the temperature value. Uh, this low temperature, uh, temperature and high temperature. We would need to store in a uh, float type because uh, only then we will be able to compare it with the temperature reading that our analog sensor will give. Otherwise we would not be able to compare this, uh, this with the string type that uh, we have used to get the input. Uh, we can have other methods of getting the input in. Uh, that, uh, that is up to the programmer how they want to um, do the function. Then to initialize uh, the LCD, the liquid crystal A2C type, uh, this is uh, basically the code to tend to initialize the LCD. Here we would uh, we need to enter the number of columns that are there in our liquid crystal display. There are 16 columns, 0 to 15, indexed, uh, then 2 columns, 0 and 1. Uh, we also need to enter the address. Uh, for uh, I2C interface, uh, a particular address is assigned to uh, the slave devices in I2C. So the address for this particular LCD is 0 cross 27. For other displays, the address would be different. Uh, there is a function on GitHub. Uh, to check uh, what is the address of uh, the serial peripheral interface connected to LCD, we can run that function. That's all. Then we have created a function called initial message, which, uh, which will display the initial message on uh, the LCD, which is room temperature controller. Then a delay of five seconds. The uh, usually uh, the value written here is in millisecond. Hence this. 
correspond to 5 seconds then after using lm35 so this is the message we can um, print any message that we want for that uh, lcd print function is, is used and to print we have to set the cursor also so lcd dot set cursor function sets the cursor to 0 plus 0 0 comma 0 uh, element of the lcd display Uh, here uh, this seems to be very simple but uh, if uh, we look how to do it manually then the coding is a bit difficult we need to give the command in hex coding then uh, the cursor is set here the Arduino interface or Arduino compiler makes the task very easy for us after displaying uh, this initial message uh, the function to uh, prompt the user to set temperature as displayed. Then to check for the key press, we have asked the user to uh, press E to set temperature. So we will check if the key uh, E is pressed. For that uh, we have uh, used this iterative uh, function which calls itself so that it continuously runs and wait for the key press E. If it is not, it will again call the function, otherwise it will move to the next part of the program. To get the temperature reading, uh, we have uh, created this function which will initially display a message. Then uh, we would uh, get the temperature reading. Uh, we have uh, limited the user to enter a two digit temperature only. So the data count is the counter uh, we use to store the value in the string so that uh, we can know if the user has entered two digits then only we will proceed for further parts hence uh, uh, initially we have uh, made the string high temp empty then uh, we have uh, created a while loop which will get the key input then uh, that key will be added to the string and we will increase the data counter if the key is not pressed then it will again uh, call this while loop and it will execute till the data count becomes two that is two values are two digit value uh, is stored in the string then the data count will again become zero so that it would facilitate us to have the lower temperature reading also uh, since we have to compare this value to our analog uh, reading then we will use this to float function to convert this string to float then after a delay of one second we will ask the user to enter lower so instead of printing a whole enter lower we will just change this part of higher to lower and others will remain same so we have just used this we will again empty the lower temperature string so that if any initial value or any previous value is there then it will get emptied again uh, we have used the same functionality to get a two digit value to the lower temperature then we will again convert it to float then we will check if the lower and higher reading are in the range of 0 to 50 because for our uh, purpose of the project uh, we would not require range uh, above or below this range so if this uh, if the readings are in this range only uh, that is if the lower value is less than higher value if the lower value is greater than 0 if the higher value is less than 50 then only it will print the temperature ranges set successfully otherwise it will show range error and uh, it will ask the user to set again so we will call the function get temperature again so that again the user will be able to set the temperature now uh, the main function, uh, the void setup function, uh, which is uh, which is used, uh, used in Arduino to initially set the temperature. So set the Arduino for uh, its processing. Uh, the serial dot begin to communicate with the computer. That is uh, at 9600 baud rate. Uh, we have used pin 11 to connect to LM35. Uh, the VCC of LM35 is connected to pin 11 the VCC of relay is connected to pin 2 so we have 
created uh, we have made these as output pins and we have wrote one and one so that it can uh, provide the vcc it is 5 volt to a uh, relay and lm35 then uh, the input of the relay we have connected the input of the relay to pin 12 so this pin will be used uh, to give signals to relay to turn on our heating element or the light we have we had used in our case then we will initialize init function we will call the init function of lcd then backlight function these two functions are initially called uh, to set our lcd display then we will print the initial message after printing the initial message we will ask the user to set uh, this will print to the fresh it was at temperature then after the user has done that then uh, this will call the get temperature function to get the temperature readings this is the function to just print a message called current temperature uh, then to read the temperature reading we will we had we have created this function called read temp so it will store the analog value from E0 pin uh, from where we have connected the pin of LM35 or temperature sensor and multiply with this scaling vector which will convert the analog reading to the temperature value that we are interested in then it will print uh, to print this we have called the current temperature function then it will print the temperature uh, to add the functionality of pause to the system we have created this uh, function it will ask the user to press c if they want to halt the system that is they uh, don't want to switch off the system but they just want uh, to uh, keep it settled for a while if we switch off the system then uh, uh, the user will have to again set the temperature ranges if we don't want that we would just want to pause the system uh, that's why this function is created it will uh, wait for the key press if the key is C then it will halt and it will print the message halted and uh, uh, to resume press T so it will wait if uh, we have halted the system by pressing uh, C uh, then it will print uh, this message halted and press D to resume then uh, it will uh, with this while loop it will wait for that key press D uh, to again resume the system if you want to reset the temperature range then we have created this function uh, which will uh, ask the user to long press B if they want to reset the temperature so if the key B is pressed then by calling the get temperature function we can reset the temperature range uh, to print the current temperature range uh, that uh, you may have seen that uh, it continuously prints the temperature range the current range so it will print the current range using simple print uh, the low temperature temperature value here we have used the string to print the value because we don't want both values to be printed then uh, if the user wants to reset this temperature range then by calling this function we uh, can ask the user to reset if they want to then the loop function which will which will run continuously so the loop will also read the current temperature then if the temperature is above 50 which is a uh, highly above a uh, user would want the loop room temperature to be uh, then it will print an alert message temperature above this it will switch uh, off or turn off the heater and would then print uh, the current range and then by calling this range function we will print the current range uh, we will ask if the, the user wants to pause and then the main thing that if if uh, the range is below the lower threshold value then it will be turn uh, the heater will be turned off by uh, giving a higher value to the relay if the temperature is above this then it will turn off the heater 
and if it is in range then uh, the heater will remain on then with a delay of 10 second uh, this will again go in the loop and would do this continuously uh, until we turn off the system pause or do other things so uh, this is a brief overview of the code we have written i hope uh, uh, that is beneficial to get to some idea of the project we have made thank you